Hello. Right, we've moved on up from uh, Bolaru Centre. I apologise if I've said central. Oh dear. Anyway, we have come um, a few k's. We've done a little bit of a dirt road uh, detouring, but we have come to Magnetic Hill. Now, this has come about from um, oh, an acquaintance of the, uh, I think the farmer. Yep, he was driving uh, along here, the um, vicinity of Bluff Hill, and happened to get a puncher. So he pulled over the side of the road, and he got out, and he did the right thing. You could see, oh yeah, downhill, I better go and chop the wheels. So he chopped the wheels to stop it from rolling downhill, and then he proceeded to jack up the vehicle, only to have it to roll uphill. So that's where legend has it, we're at Magnetic Hill. Now we've just got to go and find out exactly where we can test this theory. So bear with me. Here we go. I'm not too sure about the instructions, they're a little bit vague, but uh, judging by the large magnet on the uh, side of the road here, I think this is the spot. Now, definitely down from me, you can see that that goes down. Bit hard for the camera to see, but to me, it looks like it's going that way. I mean, we've come downhill, looks relatively flat, but uh, I think this is where we need to see whether it's rolling uphill or downhill, where the magnet is. So uh, that looks down. And I'm thinking that's the way it's gonna go because it's downhill. Yeah, we'll have a look. I think, all right, I think we've worked it out. We've got to stop here, I think it is, right? So you are moving forward, definitely moving forward. And to me, yeah. Look at that, that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've just tested that theory and with what I said at that top, all right, that's definitely downhill and that hill over there is definitely downhill. And as I said, where I'm standing right here, I reckon this is uphill. Definitely, I can vouch for that. Now Jude, release the brakes and have a look and see what happens. Houston, we've got a winner. She's definitely rolling downhill. How's that? You're definitely rolling downhill and right, could, what would you would have thought? I said I'm actually going uphill, so um, it looks like I'm actually going uphill. Yep, there we go. So uh, as it says there, if you've got aluminium cans, they, um, they won't roll uphill. Um, if you've got a concealed car, yes, it'll roll uphill and also it said warning about any hip replacements. There we go. She was definitely attracted by the magnet. It works. Incredible. And looking at that, yeah, you can see that's looking downhill. That's downhill. So that was a fun exercise. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Remember, you saw it here on Sweet As RVing. If you want any more mind-blowing facts, Click that like, follow and subscribe button. <laughs>
we drove through to Peterborough. That's where we are. We're at the, uh, I think they call it a sports oval. I think it's got something probably to do with uh, the cricket pitch that we're actually parked on at the moment. But uh, thank you, Peterborough, for putting on a, uh, a, a wonderful uh, RV park. Once again, self-sufficient. There's really only just rubbish bins. So uh, yeah, look after it and uh, everybody will have this to use to help support the town of Peterborough, which we're gonna go in and have a look. Bit of a windy one today. And uh, Jude's just been finishing off a little bit of the, the YouTube channel there for another episode. So uh, time to stretch the legs. So let's go and have a look at Peterborough, eh? Well, the first port of call, just a stone's throw away from the uh, the RV park. We've got this pretty cool um, miniature uh, railway. Nobody's riding it at the moment. We did drive past and saw one going around and typical, a bit late with the old photo op on that one. But yeah, so I just thought the RV park, right next door, miniature railway. There is some people here, the shed, shed looks like it's open. And uh, we'll take potluck. Hopefully they'll, they'll be uh, running a, a little train around on our way back from our walkies. Man, flies are bad today. Dropped into a little news agent. I think they call it, well, they got the Berg. The fabulous mural depicting all the different um, eras in Petersburg from past through to current day. Great little uh, video moving there too that gives you a good description on uh, a bit of Petersburg's history. And uh, probably a, a neat little centre point here is a, a nice little railway display showing a bit of a Petersburg scale, especially the um, the roundhouse, which um, I think is the only working one in the world now that handles three different gauges of train tracks. find a bit more about that with our little tour. But good little spot to call into. Well here's an interesting one. You don't see this often in town, but I've just found out why. Curbing here is really, really high. It would be up to about my knee. And back in the 1890s, 1900s, stagecoaches used to visit. And it was hard for people to it was a long way down from the stagecoach to the pavement so how's that it's pretty cool so it's quite ramped up along here in the middle of Petersburg, Petersburg in the middle the town carriage museum it's free to enter go in and have a look and see what it's all about So there's uh, lots of great history to read up on and you can actually sit into some of these little shows. Oh, pretty cool. There we go. It's like you're actually riding a steam train. Yeah. Most interesting. The old railway carriages are really nice and that, uh, that little movement, especially with it being so hot out here, it's 30 degrees, so it's quite nice sitting there in the cool of a, a little railway carriage and uh, watch the scenery go by. Anyway, another walk further up the main street. And a visit to Peterborough would not be complete unless you got to have a pat with Bob the railway dog. Now, Bob apparently befriended a uh, train driver and um, yeah, apparently had the run of the train. He kind of like walked in, walked off whenever he liked. So uh, this is uh, in recognition. I think uh, he was 13 years old, died in uh, 1895. And um, every year or every certain occasions during the year be it valentine's day easter saint patty's day anzac day 
they dress Bob the dog up in costume. Looks pretty cute. Another night of television while you're